A conqueror had come. Raji was the only one with the power to stop him. But it was her only way to reach Golu. Sarva Mangala Mangaliye Shiva Sarva Sadhike Shayam Nitrinte Gauri Narayani Namaste Sarva Mangala Mangaliye Shiva Sarva Sadhike Shayam Nitrinte Gauri Narayani Namaste Mayura, you have done all you could. Rest now and be safe. Mahabala Sura has brought war upon the mystics, his own people. It was inevitable. He tried to lead them, but but his arrogance took him too far. Raji must be destroyed. He may still have supporters amongst them. As you say, it is war, and in war, all things are possible. Beware, Raji. These creatures are bred for quickness and stealth. They are weapons of war. In another circumstance, that might please you, Durga, goddess of war. But not these. These are demons. I do not trust these mystics or their chief. Mahabalasura was one of them once. They have been separated from humanity for far too long. The mystics are a part. Surely now Lord Shiva must act. Look at the damage Mahabalasura has caused and may yet cause. What makes you think Shiva does not act? What do you think brought Raji when she was most needed? Why do you think that her brother Golu was the one to be taken?
That is a demon battle totem, a foul thing, which summons a multitude of creatures. Raji must beware. separated. He stays with me. We will face together whatever is to come. You spoke of Lord Shiva acting. This is his shrine. It is no coincidence that Raji finds herself here. Time will tell.
of many a man. Baba, what do our ancestors' words mean? of Lord Shiva. When Piplar was just a young boy, his father Dadhichi gave his own bones in sacrifice to the Devas to defeat. Ah, this is the marriage of Shiva to Sati, which angered Sati's father Daksha greatly. Daksha, the birth of Ashwatthama, Gifted to his father Drona after many, many years of penance, born with a magical gem in his forehead. There was a time when I was to take from upon the earth as Rama. Lord Shiva was greatly pleased. The mystic homes, they burn. Golu. You are surely too clever to have been hurt. You must be safe. I pray that you're safe. It is destruction and death and bone and blood. It will not be pleasant, yet she must learn the extent of her enemy's malice. To be seen. She must know what Mahabharasura is capable of. I am sorry, Raji. Her quest is no longer just for her brother, 
but for all who suffer this evil. The entire village of the mystics was under threat. This conqueror would stop at nothing. Would destroy centuries of history and learning. The mystic chieftain was forced to give up the scroll he had kept secret for so long. The mystics will not survive Mahabalasura's attack for... She faced the Naga. He is a demigod. This is not her foe. This is the guardian of the land of the mystics. He is enraged by the corruption, by the taint of this invasion. She must win his trust.
the chieftain's life was in peril. She stepped forward and finally faced her foe. She struck the invader, but his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Golu saw his chance and he ran to his sister as their enemy disappeared. Raji was near death. But here she was among the mystics, most knowledgeable practitioners of magic. could not save her, then no one could. Finally, she was with Golu, but this could not last.
the mystic chieftain warned her. Their enemy was Mahabalasura, the outcast, the most powerful mystic ever born. The scroll that he had stolen held a mantra to rip open the gates of the Dev Heavens. Raji was the only one with the power to stop him before he tore apart the world. So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. There, in the far distance. That is the gate. I'm sure of it. I need not have worried. These mystics know what they're about. Indeed, there they lie. The gates to Devbhumi. This is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? Before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain, and you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin, and grant might to your lips.
Surely this is the Sudarshan Chakra. How could one such as I be so blessed? Lord Vishnu must be watching over me. And my enemy... Now and watch. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. She wields the chakra as one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of the Finally, Raji faced Mahabalasura and he revealed the extent of his power. She must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him. So, you are the boy's sister. Even Boomy could kill me. I will. 
enemy had copied himself. Mahabalasura was on every side. Raji could not see the truth, that this was just a diversion. Mahabalasura had escaped Raji and stood at the gates, reciting the mantra. But why? And then, another voice took up the chant. Golu. too late. Although Raji still fought, the gates to the Dev heavens now stood open. Mahabalasura's design had come to pass, and Golu had been the key. Now what horror would be unleashed on the world?